Stand and deliver your money or your life. I... I haven't got any money. Don't give me that. I'm Dick Gherkin. I can hear the merry sound of silver pieces jangling a mile off. So hand them over. You can't get away from me. Let go! <laughs> go on, Help! shout, scream for all the good it'll do you. <laughs> Are you finished? Nobody dares come this way across Crackskull Common at night except stupid people who deserve to be robbed. Let go! Don't go wasting my time now. Where's the silver? What's in the bag? Stop it! Ah, the sweet sound of wealth. <laughs> if it's not too much trouble. Thank you kindly. But good night, ma'am. I hope you're eating your tea. Yes, it's really delicious. Yuck. Oh, who's that? <laughs> it's a high woman's life for me, sure enough. All you have to say is, stand and deliver your money or your life. And all those fancy la -de da wealthy toffs can't wait to offload their riches onto me. <laughs> yep, it's a grand life. <laughs> I wish I had a grand life. T-shirt! What are you doing playing with my saucer? Hands off! I need this to find out what little Miss Loathsome is up to. Eat your tea. <laughs> where all the regulars have got to. The place is usually packed out. Pretty odd. You're right there, Mother. Uh, well, I don't expect there'll be any more in tonight. I might as well shut up. You're right there, Mother. Hey, it's way past your bedtime, my lad. You're right there, Mother. Oh, flaming Nora, what's that? Let me in. Let me in. We're shut, love. Oh. Oh, flipping neck, what a to do! Oh, thanks. Oh, it's a little girl. Clarence, a chair? I've got one, thanks, Mother. Oh, not for you, you daft apeth! Oh, it's oh. all right, really. Well, well, then, what's all the panic about? I've been robbed. Robbed? I was walking over Crackskull Common. Crackskull I... Common? Yes. Oh, by it, class, what a balmy thing to do at this late hour. And who was it robbed you? As if I didn't already know. Mm, Dick somebody. Dick Gherkin. That's him. Oh, surely you've heard all about Dick Gherkin. No. Oh, everybody's heard of the most daring, the most infamous, the most celebrated highwayman this side of Dead Dog Hill. Our legends are peppered with heroes untold, and many are handsome and many are bold. A few are quite gallant, but many are not, and there's only one hero possesses the lot. Gherkin, dick, gherkin, you never know where he's lurking. Gherkin, dick, gherkin, you never know where, so beware. He's dressed all in black from his head to his toes and folks all admire him wherever he goes. Except for the wealthy who hate him for sure cos he robs from the rich and he gives to the poor. Gherkin, dick, gherkin, you never know where he's lurking. Gherkin, dick, gherkin, you never know where, so beware. So if you're rich, then stop your smirking. Here's advice, you best not be shirking. Look here, look there, look out. Take care that you never cross the path of Dick Gherkin. That you never cross the path of Dick 
gherkin. Well, it's not fair. I'm not rich. He stole something that was really important to me. If I don't get it back, oh, I don't know what will happen. Well, well. Some highwoman called Dick Gherkin has made off with pesky Deborah's precious numbers. <laughs> That's wiped the smile off her smug little face, hasn't it? So all you've got to do is get them off of Dick Gherkin. Exactly right, you clever little cheeky chops. Ow! Get off! <laughs> This is my son, the constable of the watch, would you believe? Now, you tell him all about it and he'll write it down. You've got a pencil and paper, son, have you? Uh, yes, Mother. Uh, go on, then. You tell him, love, exactly how it happened. Uh, Clarence? Your uh, pencil's broken. Oh, flaming Nora, it's pathetic. Why couldn't my son have been like Dick Gherkin? At least he's got a bit of gear up and go. Yes, he got up and went with my silver numbers. Oh, it's not fair. Oh, there, there. Now, that's enough for one night. You look dog tired. Now, come with me and I'll find you a nice little room upstairs. It'll all look different in the morning. You're very kind. Clarence, it's bedtime. Yes, Mother. Ugh, that was horrible. Right, now you can clean your teeth and go to bed. It's too early. I'm not tired. You'll do as I say. I won't have you questioning my every word. But I'm, not... I'm off to snatch those numbers back from Dick Gherkin. And when I get back here, I want to find you fast asleep. Couldn't I come as well? Don't argue with me, T-shirt. Pajamas. Now, go to bed. Ha! I bet Dick Gherkin doesn't get sent to bed so early. Bed. Couldn't I just... Bed! Be the death of me, that boy. Right, back to business. Now to set a trap to catch a gherkin. Surely there must be somebody in the story who knows his whereabouts. The question is who? I'll just have to ask around. I know. I'll start at that ridiculous tavern. Oh, I have an idea. <laughs> This ought to lure him out of the woodwork. This and a very cunning disguise should fool him completely. Oh, flaming Nora, what now? Clarence, are you still up? Yes, Mother. I I'm coming! I'm coming! Good evening. Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Can I have a glass of water, please? Your Majesty. She's not here. Great. Now I can play at being a highwayman. Now, what did Dick Gorkin look like? All right, Ted, this is it. Stand and deliver your money or your life. No, that's not right. What did Dick Gorkin sound like? Stand and deliver your money or your life. Yeah, that's it. So you see, if you could just point me in the right direction, I'll be on my way. Oh, lovey, you don't want to be going out and about at this late hour. But does she, Clarence? Will you tell her? My mother's right, I suppose. You suppose? Why, only this very night, a poor defenceless little girl got robbed of everything she had. Who oh, by? Why, Dick Gherkin, of course. Oh, yes. I've heard about him. He robs from the rich and he gives to the poor. Is that a fact? And here am I, incredibly rich. You are? Oh, stinking rich, rolling in it. I have absolute roomfuls of cash at home. But I've no option. I simply have to take this huge bag full of gold coins to my poor old granny who lives at the other side of Dead Dog Hill. Oh, took that away, lovey. I wouldn't go flashing that around if I were you. Should she, Clarence? <laughs> I suppose not. <sighs> I, I'm off to bed. Uh, good night. Pardon my son, the constable. He's had a hard day sitting, playing dominoes. Are you sure you've got to go out? Oh, quite sure. Well, take my advice. Steer well clear of Crackskull Common. Where's that? Other side of the woods. Now, don't go near it unless you want to run slap bang into Dick Gherkin. Oh, no. 
I certainly don't want that. Carl, what a great place to play out Highwayman. And it's Darsley Dick T-shirt, the scourge of Crackskull Common. Stand and deliver your money or your life. <laughs> Stand and deliver your money or your life. <laughs> Where is he then, this Dick Gherkin? Does he want my money or what? Oh dear, oh dear, this huge sack full of gold coins is so incredibly heavy, I can hardly carry it another step. That's the trouble with being so stinking rich. Cake crumbs and crumpets, where is he? I haven't time to stand about waiting for him. <laughs> it's him. Stand and deliver your money or your life. Oh, woe is me. Save our souls. Oh, dear. All right, all right. Take it. Take the money, all of it. Only please, please don't harm me. Here, here you are. Who was that? Now to follow him back to his secret lair. Stand and deliver <gasps> your money or your life. What the? Get your hands up. Go on, and no funny business. What's your game? Stand and deliver, you heard? Who the dickens are you? Well, who do you think I am? I'm Dick Gherkin. I rob from the rich and I give to the poor. And you look pretty dashed rich to me. Your money or your life, madam? Shortcake and sugar cubes, I've just given it to you. What did you say? I said, I've just given you my money, all of it, the whole bag full. No, you didn't. I did. When? Just now, when you were hiding in the bushes. Tell me more. Look, I was standing here. You were standing over here. I threw down the money at your feet. You picked up the bag. I came back over here. Then I... Where is he? Dick? Dick Gherkin? I don't believe this. T-shirt, T-shirt, quickly make me a cuppa before I dissolve into a quivering jelly. T-shirt? T-shirt! Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Aren't you asleep yet? Oh, I can't sleep for worrying about my silver numbers. Oh, you poor little thing. Here, and guess what? There's been another robbery on the common this very night. Oh, this is ridiculous. Why doesn't your son do something about it? Oh, he never was cut out to be hero, was Clarence. Well, he's a good boy, really. He's got a heart of gold, you know. But the truth is, when it comes to being constable, he's not much cop. Well, I can't wait around here and do nothing, can I? What are you up to? I'm going to find this Dick Gherkin and get my numbers back. Ah, oh, you eckers like at this late hour. Well, I've got to do something. Oh, all right. But I'm coming with you. We'll find your precious numbers, lass, don't you fret. Oh, real gold. Pity it's not chocolate. This is the way. Now stick close to me, love. Don't lag behind. I think it was about here that I got robbed. Right. Then here we'll wait. Stand and deliver your money or your life. Dick Gherkin! <laughs> That's Dick Gherkin! That's not Dick Gherkin. <laughs> I know who that is. T-shirt, what are you playing at? Good game, this wanna play? No. What's in that bag? Oh, nothing. It's my silver numbers, isn't it? No, it's not. It is? Give. No, it's not your stupid silver numbers. There. Oh, gold coins. Not my silver numbers oh. at all. Just like I said. I'm sorry, T-shirts. So you should be. Calling me a liar. It's not fair. Well, I said I was sorry. I'm fed up. I'm going home. T 
sure, Daddy? We were a bit harsh on the lad. Oh, oh he's gone a bit to bad now. Stand and deliver. Come on there, hand it over. Oh, no, not again. Dick Gherkin, the Dick Gherkin. You, what's in the bag? Gold coin, if you must know. Gold coins? Well, I must say, for someone who claims not to be all that rich, you aren't half rolling in it. Silver, gold, whatever next? Come on, don't stand there pouting. Hand it over. All right, then. This will feed a good few hungry mouths. Thank you, ladies. Good night. Oh, he's a good man at art. Oh, such style. Oh, I'd better follow him anyway. But how? Simple. I made the hole in the bag large enough and, look, a trail of gold coins behind him. If we follow, it'll lead us to where he hides. Oh! T-shirt, I need a good cup of tea. Where is he? Well, look who it is. Oh, good morning. Don't give me that. Where have you been? I was just I've going... been looking for you everywhere. What are you doing up and about at this time of night? Just going back to bed now. Oh, no, you're not. You're going to make me a cup of tea. I'm gasping. Good and strong. Four tea leaves. Four? Yes. I've simply got to find out where that stupid gherkin has hidden all his loot. And there's another. And another here. Oh, flaming Nora. They've led us all the way back home. That can't be right. Clarence, Dick Gherkin's lurking around here somewhere. Have you clapped eyes on him? Uh, not me, Mother. Oh, leave that ugly thing alone and, and turn round so that we're not talking to the back of you. Oh, sorry, Mother. <laughs> well, I've not seen now peculiar. What are you pair staring at, eh? I don't believe it. It's you. Of course it's me. Oh, I'm tired. I'm off to bed. Good night. Uh-oh. Uh, whoops. You mean to tell me that, that my Clarence, my idle, dozy, good-for-nothing pea-brain Clarence is none other than Dick Gherkin? Yes, oh. Mother. I'm afraid it's true. Afraid? Oh, soon I'm delighted. <laughs> Had you well fooled there, Mother, eh? Oh, come <laughs> here, you damn <dumb> neighbours. <laughs> <clears throat> Could I have my numbers back, please? Oh, go on, Clarence, give them to the lass. Very well, Mother. <laughs> oh, look at that, the jackpot. <laughs> All my numbers and the six. Could I have that as well, please? Well, uh... I'll swap it for all these. Quite oh, a deal, isn't it, Clarence? <laughs> Aye, a deal it is. <laughs> Stop! Nobody move! Oh, flipping heck! <sighs> See, bag, you're just too late again. See? <gasps> Leave this to me, Your Majesty. What? Right, you. Stand and deliver. Your numbers are your life. Oh, don't be so stupid, T-shirt. Right, you've asked for it. Stupid thing. T-shirt, what are you doing, boy? It won't work. Can't you do anything right? What's wrong with it? It's jammed. See? Oh. <laughs> Thanks for all your help, you two. I'd better be off now. Bye. 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 <laughs> oh, some little imp. Now then, Miss Clever. Where is she? I lost somebody. Clarence! Uh, right oh, Mother. You'd better give me a description, madam. Uh.